Sup Nibus, D-Balls here, and today we're going to be going over the leaks for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 70, right? And I think the leaks are actually pretty cool, just because it gives us more insight on what's going on. So, in regards to Granola and his whole wish to become the strongest, it comes with some type of condition, right? That's like what's going to be the thing there. We don't know what the condition is, but the wish seems to work fine and Granola gets like longer hair. It looks really cool, to be honest. Uh, it, it looks basically like Super Saiyan 3 to be 100 with you and then past that we get to see Vegeta and Goku and what they're doing Goku's practicing mastering his UI to you know up its level in comparison to people like Whis and you know Grand Priest etc and Vegeta's practicing uh, Hakai training with Beerus and he's finally got into the point where he can like destroy a little rock now while this is not really a big deal it is something impressive because you know, it's a step forward. It lets us know that, you know, Vegeta actually does have an ability to learn this. Um, so, we know where Goku was able to go in regards of it. I wonder how we're going to see it be in comparison to Vegeta's overall ability with Hakai. And I'm wondering, like, you know, what Vegeta's going to do with it to make it unique to himself. Uh... Overall thoughts for Granola, what I think the condition might be, it has to be something that will either lead to his defeat or be ironic in his overall goal, right? So maybe something among the lines of he, I don't know, has to forget his race or he has to listen to Freeze on something. I don't know. It seems like there's a double-edged sword here right i'm kind of just throwing out ideas for what it could possibly be but there's definitely something to this that is gonna like fuck granola over in his life you know it, it can't just be like some weak ass condition where like you, you can't fucking eat chocolate or something that'd be like lame as fuck um and it is uh cool to just see uh that granola's wish worked despite how it kind of seems a bit cheapish in comparison like to how other characters maybe not cool is not the right word it's interesting to see how granola's wish was actually able to work and it just had to come with a condition i wonder is this something that's unique to the specific dragon that he summoned or is this something that all dragons would ask for if you make a wish of this nature i feel like it's definitely something specific to the um to the uh to the dragon that granola summoned though um, I'm hoping that Granola is going to be a villain for Vegeta. I feel like him and Vegeta have a lot in common in terms of who they are and how they go about things. And this would be like a really nice villain for Vegeta. Have. I don't see what this villain could do in regards for uh, for Goku. I don't see it. You know what I mean? But I definitely could see him being able to help Vegeta grow overall. Since this is literally Vegeta having to confront his Saiyan past, right? and the guilt that comes with it and his whole thing right now is getting over the past so by defeating granola in a literal way of physically beating him and overpowering him or just you know in a in a more like mental way of just uh accepting what he's done wrong and being able to move forward and not limit him i think granola is going to be a really good villain for vegeta specifically that's my little i uh idea throwing into the fucking into the bin there I don't see him being able to do much for Goku. I do also hope for this arc that we get to see the other Saiyans be of some importance. Since Granola's goal is to get payback on the Saiyans and Frieza, he's definitely not going to just stop at Goku and Vegeta. We have Goten, Trunks, and Gohan, and Broly. I would love to see them all do something cool and badass and just play their part really well because we haven't really got to see any of Broly after the movie. And in the manga, we only get basically uh, a mention of him from Goku and like the little... Uh, the little panel before we actually get to the moral arc and in regards to gohan i feel like this would be something just to have him do something you know what i mean he did do uh stuff of importance like fight uh android 73 and you know hold back moral prisoner army and shit but it wasn't nothing like that heavy for real in my opinion it wasn't like a big iconic moment i feel like this can allow gohan to have that iconic moment where we get to see the glimpse of what his training's been allowing him to do and you know just see him again in action i feel like i, I really love gohan i enjoy his character you know i'm happy that he's back training and being a fighter again you know I, I didn't mind that he stopped training and stuff i feel like it fits his character 
Uh, but I am happy that he's back in the actual series and we can see him do stuff impressive. And I feel like everyone should have their moment to shine in an arc like this that's, you know, that's focusing on Saiyans. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what could be like a big thing for this arc. Maybe Whis dies. But it's like, what is that really going to do? Maybe like affect Beerus? I don't know. I don't know there. Uh, I know this arc will most definitely be something that delves deeper into the overall history of the Saiyans. More than likely, I'm hoping more than we've ever gotten before in terms of information. I, I don't see what else it can go. I guess with the idea that Granola wished to be the strongest in the universe, there's definitely going to have to be some like large scale thing with this that's going to occur. Because, you know, if he's the strongest in the universe, how is anyone going to be able to deal with him? Like, it's just... I, I'm just wondering how Granola's going to be handled. I hope he's going to be handled well. Because he honestly... He, he has everything to be a great villain for Dragon Ball. And honestly, just a great villain generally. And as long as they don't fuck him up and, and do something weird, like how I honestly feel like they did with Moro, where he kind of took away what made Moro unique and kind of made him just a basic nigga. I, I love, like, the Moro arc was great. I don't have really any super big complaints about it. You know, I do honestly feel like it's a great arc or just a good arc, but I do feel like Moro could have been handled better. So I hope Granola's handled in a way that, you know, allows him to be unique as a character, you know, because he's a fucking, you know, he's a sniper. So I hope we still get to see that type of fighting style be done. He doesn't just turn into like some brawler because uh, that'd be kind of fucking boring in my opinion. So, yeah, that's basically all my thoughts in regards of uh, in regards of like the leaks. It's not really much more I could say on it. Uh, we're just gonna basically have to wait till the actual chapter comes out and then I get to go into everything that they show us there and yeah I'm mad excited for this I really am geek for this chapter uh, you guys can leave your thoughts about what you think is gonna happen your theories on you know the direction of granola and all that jazz I love to discuss it with you guys and I'll see you in the next vid peace out